Doug Shipman is CEO of the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. On board since its inception in 2005, he sees the vision of the center as taking the legacy of the civil rights movement to America and making it tangible for young people all over the world. That's really the core of the vision, and that's been there since the very beginning, since the idea came from Evelyn Lowry to Mayor Shirley Franklin, that notion of allowing it to uh, evolve and to grow and to thrive in the future has really driven the idea of the center from the very beginning. For making this dream a reality, Shipman is receiving an Atlanta Business League Award. ABL CEO, Leona Barr Davenport. Doug Shipman is being recognized as the Visions of Excellence Award honoree because he has birthed this baby. Uh, he did not have the initial idea in the concept, but once he heard it, he was engaged in it, and he has been able to bring people from not only in Metro Atlanta, but across the country into this partnership. The center opens in late May with a celebration in mid-June. And when people come, they will see, of course, the Morehouse College Martin Luther King collection which is the uh, trove of papers and items that were purchased by the community. We'll rotate through those every few months. Uh, a series of galleries about the civil rights legacy and Atlanta's special role and the people who really struggle for justice. And then a contemporary series of galleries on human rights that will change as issues change. So as things occur in Syria or the Ukraine or the United States or Brazil, the exhibitions will showcase those issues so that visitors will get to see how history connects with the present and then they'll be able to leave their own stories in a small broadcast facility that we have. They'll be able to actually testify and give us their legacy and then we'll show those to other visitors as well. When Shipman looks at the history of the Atlanta Business League, he sees an organization that has done the uneasy, maintained its relevancy. I think that, like many great organizations, staying relevant means both doing something for members and also doing something for the wider community. And I think that's why the organization has continued to thrive. The son of a minister, Shipman's philosophy is simple. I try to engage each person individually in a very full way, at any moment. Um, I've gotten the, the good fortune of working on very big projects with very big organizations, starting this institution, but for me it always comes down to the engagement with that one individual. What's the conversation that you have with somebody who wants to be mentored? What's the conversation that you have with someone who is asking an honest question about history or about who they are or about who you are? And so for me it's about being present in those individual conversations and not losing sight that change happens in the hearts of individual people, and that individual change then drives the bigger societal change. The Atlanta Business League salutes Visions of Excellence awardee Doug Shipman.